Hello and welcome. This is going to be a video about how to calculate the net present value of a solar PV system. So if you're not familiar with net present value, it's a calculation that you can use to try to determine if an investment is a good idea or a bad idea. And what it's trying to tell you or trying to calculate is how much better off or worse off you'll be if you decide to go with the investment. So I have prepared a spreadsheet with all of the formulas in place so that all you have to do is enter in the formulas, or enter in your data and it will give you the results of the NPV calculation. So to get this spreadsheet you go to energyd.ie forward slash npv and that link is going to be in the description of this video as well so don't worry about that so this is my website energyd.ie and it will provide you that one second i've got a phone call here uh i'll ring him back so the They've, we've got this download button here, click that, save it to wherever you want, I've saved it to my desktop, and open it up. Now I'm using LibreOffice software, but you can use whatever spreadsheet software you prefer. So into the, all these yellow cells, you can enter your data, and the spreadsheet will calculate the NPV results for you down into these blue cells. First up is the year one electricity savings in units of electricity, also known as kilowatt hours. So I, for this example, I'm going to imagine that we are assessing a potential investment for a large solar PV array on the roof of a factory or a commercial premises that's using a lot of power and that will be able to make use of all the power out for put from the panels so the panels are going to produce 45,000 kilowatt hours per year and the factory is going to use all of that electricity the next thing we have to look at is annual output degradation of the panels this is basically a brand new panel uh, produces a certain amount of power but every year that output will go down slightly and usually it's somewhere around 0.6% of its power that it loses every year. After 25 years, generally PV panels would be down to about 85% of their original power. Um, it depends on the pa exact panel. Um, you can get the exact number off the data sheet of the panel if you have it, but 0.6% is about average. Cost per kilowatt hour is how much you're paying for electricity. Uh, let's just say it's 14 cent per kilowatt hour for daytime electricity. Upfront cost, uh, let's say you've been quoted a price of 60,000 euros. Now, the future value discount rate. This is the kind of key, the thing that's unusual in the NPV calculation. So, the idea behind this NPV and the future value discount rate is that a euro today is worth more than a euro tomorrow. I mean, I could ask it to, I ask it to you like this. If I offered to give you 10 euro now or your other option was to take 10 euro 20 years from now, you'd probably prefer to get your 10 euro right now. That's because we apply a kind of a discount rate to money in the future. It's not quite as good as money today. Now that discount rate might vary depending on your attitude to finance. It might depend on the business. It might depend on your interest rates and so on. Um, but for this example, I'm going to go with 6%. It could be higher, it could be lower. Uh, and you can play around with this number anyway afterwards. Electricity price inflation rate. Um, 
nobody really knows how much electricity is going to cost exactly in 10 or 20 years. But general inflation tends to run around 2% a lot of the time. So let's call let's call it, excuse me, 2%. So there we go. It's already spitting out some results for us. Um, but we still have these other yellow cells and they are for any other incomes and liabilities that this system might mean for you as the factory owner so um, for example an income might be a grant that the government would give you towards the cost of the solar pv system so let's say they give you a 20 percent grant that would be twelve thousand euros of income year one and a liability might be a part that needs replacement now i lot of solar pv panels are guaranteed for 25 years and that's why i have made this whole calculation over the time period of 25 years uh, on the other hand inverters tend to have a slightly shorter or a substantially shorter guarantee period often around 10 years so let's say not long after that in unlucky year number 13 your inverter fails and you have to replace it at a cost of 5,500 euro. Uh, you can put any other liabilities and income in here that you want. Uh, for example, uh, even if you wanted to, you could put a monetary value on things like the environmental image of your company that could be enhanced by getting solar PV or um, morale among your workers or customers anything you want can go in here anyway here are the results uh, it's telling us that the gross present value of the system is 101,000 that's kind of what the system would be worth to you and the net present value is what the system would be worth to you minus what it actually costs you which in this case is 41,000 euros and another way of looking at this is that if you decide to go ahead with this investment, you will be €41,000 better off because of it. So that is net present value. Uh, this is only one of many methods that you can use to assess uh, a solar PV investment or any other investment. Let me know what you think of it or if you have any questions write them down in the comments and I'll try and get back to you and answer them. Thanks for watching.